Hey guys and welcome back to Galvin Valley. Now, this is a new map um, that I'm currently playing on. Um, this is a hill, um, hill sheep farming map really. Um, it's a large area of this map which is just for the sheep. Um, so it's sort of like North Yorkshire Moors type thing um, with just like sheep uh, roaming about. Um, now, to start this off, we have £500,000 which is currently decreasing and that's all set yep um, and we have a case combine with a case header seed drill uh, sprayers as uh, do a bit of spraying on here 100 sheep and um, bale spikes for the Massey Ferguson uh, John Deere Gator which actually works and um, thank you to my thoughts for that um, case puma um, Massey Ferguson's, so we've got selection, New Holland T8 and the Stewart trailer. Um, so, may not be starting off with that much, um, but £500,000 just to buy any other equipment which we may need. Now, I'm currently down here at the bottom left of the map, and this is a big map. Um, pretty much the main yard is going to be the beef farm, and that that kind of easy place to start really um, it's kind of just it is quite central um, so yeah now what I will do here is drive to the beef farm and take a look around to be honest I'm probably not really going to do like a looking around a thing because uh, I did do the FSUK video if you want to have a look at what's on this map go check that out and I may have a link to that in the description or something maybe um, is it left? no? right? yeah right here so our indicators work on this and the tailgate goes down just find the right button and up and the lights work properly um, so let's make our way up to the beef farm now all the equipment is currently at the shop I believe uh, so yeah we'll have to get that moved we have also started off with a few bales and a couple of fields and some probably I'm gonna want to get them done really um, this farm here anyway uh, this is where the sheep's wool is and that shed just there that's where the wool is if we drive on here it goes red because uh, this is pretty much just the conveyor belts and rollers and stuff to move it all that's uh, quite a nice system and uh, just got a random shed here could store bales in here maybe and then we've brought three bales up here anyway let's make our way back to hmm yeah this is about right so there's also like a couple of sheep areas here I should go over some cattle grids and stuff this is sort of one of the reasons why I did buy this, buy this uh, get this map is because of that sort of feature uh, it's quite nice just to have a map which is well has got features which I have seen uh, and I do like so this is an incredibly big map as well uh, so this gator, going to be using this a lot just to get around because it drives a lot nicer apart from brakes. Uh, but anyway, let's just say it's past the MOT to be road legal. Hasn't even got number plates, so technically shouldn't be driving it on the road. Now, the reason why I came up here and went past the turning for the beef farm is because this field here, obviously great, quite a large field, so we own this and we will be combining it at some point and um, just need need it to grow properly really so can I get to the beef farm from here? don't think I can actually there's also like folds and stuff here and this it is a nice map for this sort of stuff quite a few grass fields as well which is Quite nice to see and just like big open pastures and stuff and 
so we'll end up doing them at some point. So let's drive back down to the beef farm. The beef farm as well, it's not the biggest farm on here, but it is still big enough that I will store the equipment there as well. These ditches around here, I've got to be careful. The amount of times that I've had to restart where I am because I've driven into the ditches and I can't get out is unbelievable. So we've got to drive properly. Uh, down here as well, this is a pain. If you get too fast, you are in the ditch pretty much. Um, so let's just, I don't know, I might be able to demonstrate here. 40 down here. Surprised it's not in the ditch, and we're in the ditch. But we're out. That usually doesn't happen. But yeah, getting in the ditches, you're not coming out. <laughs> Got to, as well, I can't even get some like a front loader to move it out. Because it's just. That gets stuck as well. Yeah, it's up here, isn't it? So this is the beef farm. And we've got a couple of bales. That shit there. Uh, yep, a couple there. And this uh, it's two clumps. And a large number of sheds where I can store equipment. Uh, so we will be storing all our equipment here, which is good. Um, so, let's park this up here. Massey, that's the case. And the other case, that's there. What else do we have? Hmm. Really tempted to get this moved down. Though, what fields do we own that have got crops in them? 32, what's that? Barley. 26, that's wheat, and uh, 25, that's wheat. 4, 3, there's quite a few grass fields on here. And um, so we could actually buy some mowers. So we could keep mowers on this. Let's put a smaller tractor on there. Hmm. But how about we run sprayers off of this this time? We have got row crop on here. Hmm. Okay. Although that comes up with that, it gets rid of the loader blocks. Because I'm not really fussed about running the loader off of this thing anymore. It's. This is r just right for spraying. Uh, it's not too big, and it's not too small either. So we'll run the sprayer off of that drill running off of this thing could do some front weights at some point but nah don't, won't put them on yet um, could do with another tractor five tractors might be a bit much One, two, yeah how many have I got three four I've already got five anyway six tractors would be a bit much so I think Hmm. We could do with some grass. I'm not too fussed about getting them moved back either. I'll do that off screen. Um, if I run this T8, we get butterfly mowers. Um, tether, we don't want a big one. Or do we? Nah, we'll go for that one. And rake. Coon could be perfect. Yeah, we ain't gonna be running the biggest equipment on here. Put it that way. Passenger, let's go for that. What else do we need? That, that, that. Baler, I am gonna be doing around bales. So, where are we? Where's our crone? Ah, oh, hopefully, and shove pallets in the back of that gator. 143,000 pounds, that's a lot. Hmm. I'll get that a bit later. I don't need it just yet. Now, this is incredibly stupid, sorry about that. But hopefully it will let me. Let's run that on the front. 
just to get it moved back to where I need it. These on the back. And then the mowers on this thing. Yeah, not the most realistic thing. I'd probably go down about 2 o'clock in the morning maybe and move them down the road. I don't really want to risk uh, Hmm. This is also the special New Holland out of the pack, uh, so it's the biggest one I could get for, 360, and yeah, it's quite big, uh, which is good, means we have a lot of power. Anyway, uh, what do I want? Oh, it's easier if I drive that, Massey. that. So if I can get these moved down to the beef farm now it makes it a bit easier. So, control there, follow me. Close there innit? Beacons and let's go. Which frame rate like? 25? Yeah I do. <clears throat> so there's also a fair few steep drops on here um, which yeah I've got to be careful that I don't drive over them so now that we have this equipment it's probably going to be a few episodes actually like doing grass and that um, but I will I'll have to get that baler at some point it is, a, it is a lot of money put it that way <sighs> telehandler could be something we get as well. <clears throat> I wouldn't want to be driving down the other side of this road with this setup on. So we've got biomass plant there. Oh, cows do come down here as well. Hmm stay as far to the left as we can without crashing. But I'd rather the car go into the ditch but it doesn't work like that in this game. It's I crash into the car, the car sends me flying. It should be that if I crash into the car on here the car gets crumpled because that's what would happen. As well these fields, not. I haven't really seen the price of them. Okay. That's a lot. That even says price on there. Fair, why isn't there any grass in these? Hmm, oh well. Could appear once we've bought them. stop you from being really tempted to uh, cut them anyway. Yeah, we've got to go fast over this. Now, I should actually have enough power here on these tractors to get this job done, or these jobs done. To be honest, that small tractor, small Massey Ferguson, I'm not going to really use that much. That's going to be mainly sometimes I'll put the loader on it um, just for flat work but I can't really see it driving up this hill with the loader on or even any implement so that is pretty much I'll use it as spraying tractor so I can get row crops on it can I get row crops on this I know I can get row crops on the one that's got the loader on it at the moment that is kind of nice. So if I need to, I will just have the other one as a little load of tractor. And that's gone crazy. Hmm. Anyway, shift F. Stop that following. I hope these fit in here. I know the mowers won't. Combine. I've got a decent place to store the combine as well. So. I 
correct header. We want this. Let's lower that down. Oh, nope, can't have that, so it's running off them two wheels on the front. If I could lower it a like, certain amount, not all the way, then I would. But I can't, <laughs> unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, this must be focusing on get uh, row crop tyres on. Hmm, is there a decent shed where I can store these mowers? I don't think there is actually. Ah. Not the perfect place, but however far back I can go in here. Not very, but it'll do. And this T8 will be used pretty much as my mowing tractor. Um, kind of, yeah. It's got the horsepower to go up the hills and that sort of thing. So, what should we do now? Field 8, how do I get there? This is going to take a lot of getting used to. Is that just here? Hope it is. Hmm. You know what? Let's cut this now. Let's get the mowers back on that T8. And let's get this guy. Stick four wheel drive on as well. Nine, there we go. Cab suspension is off. What can I do? Fenders, yeah, I won't need them on. <laughs> I kind of wish that these T8s and pretty much the New Holland pack, you could operate the features such as cap toggle, cabin suspension and stuff like that. When you're in the cap, um, or when you've got attachments on. Let's get this done. Uh, it's only a small field, though. Field 37. Chance we could cut that as well. If that is a grass field. So to be honest, the more bales I can get, the better it is. Because, um, oh, yeah, it means that I don't have to spend many episodes doing grass. But this map will be mainly based around the animals and the sheep. Beef and that, I'm not too fussed about doing on here. Um, I've never really been a huge fan of the fattening stuff. So I never get my head around how it all works. There's also quite a few big drops on this map. Uh, so I do have to be careful. It is sort of light. Whitby, maybe. Don't know. You've got. Is it Whitby? Yeah. Ah, let's say it is. Um. She got the hill sheep farming, like North Yorkshire Malls and that. Whatever it is up there. You got the beach because there is a beach on this thing. Um. So we could take a ride down on the Gator at some point down there. Just as something to do. One episode. Uh, take a look around in a bit more detail. Because I'm not really wanting to do a big map tour because I did the FSUK video, and that is pretty much a map tour, but showing off a few features. Uh, not everything. Otherwise, that video because the videos for FSUK they have to be about two to. Well, five minutes long. That would be a 20 minute long video about showing what's on this map. We're losing money quite quickly actually. So I started this off, this episode off with 
500,000 pound, half a million. 100k, not that much compared to what I could have spent. I'm surprised I haven't spent more actually. But if I can, I will save money. Because to be honest, this. I want to run it like an estate. Um, so you do get a certain budget for equipment and that sort of thing. Um, but it's not really like an estate at all. To be fair, if there was a big house up here, like, this, like a mansion sort of thing. But it's one thing actually. What's it called? NI Modern. What map did they do that I liked? They did one map anyway that I did quite like. Um, Spring Hill, I think. I think that's what it was called anyway. I ain't gonna fit through here. Further, real life. Those things fold up. Hmm. It's quite a big field this. Give me next episode's job to do that. I will park this here. As it is, it's 22 minutes, I think that should maybe be long enough. Um, I will get all this equipment moved to B farm or A farm at least. Uh, it could be. Hmm. Don't know, could be a pork farm or somewhere remove it too um, but yeah so thanks for watching guys i really hope you have enjoyed uh, this episode on galvin valley don't forget to like subscribe comment and share this video as it really does help and i will see you next time goodbye